Hati was their cremation place, and Dashing Kali was the place where they sacrificed the animals. So just be prepared when you come to see maybe some dead animals and some animals being killed and some dead bodies. Cultural but it's all <laughs> fantastic, and it's just amazing to see how you know different religions celebrate different things. But um, it could be a bit, you know. We took um, the first few days was just basic Nepali lessons, which was very useful when we went to Sangar, as we were able to speak to the family, just basic Nepali, obviously not fluently, and we were able to speak to the children as well. I mean, a lot of them did know English, but it was quite good that we were able to practice uh, Nepali that we had been taught by Vicky in the village. Uh, living in the village, we're all placed with host families, so we're able to experience what a Nepali family life is like, their daily routines, from eating dal part in the morning to going out on the fields to work. So we were able to experience a lot and it gave us a bit of an insight as to what the culture is here as well. We went to Sangha first. That's a remote village somewhere up in the hills. Um, yeah, outside of Kathmandu. And this was a great introduction to the Nepali way of living. In the West, we don't have goats in the kitchen. But in Sangha, we do. So that was good. The Nepali lifestyle, because it's completely different. More family orientated, and they're more into Dalbat than we are in England. Once the training is complete, volunteers are taken by a member of Info Nepal staff or area coordinator to their designated placement. Uh, I travelled by bus with one of Info Nepal staff. Her name is Namrata. And uh, it was a really pleasant ride. It was beautiful to travel from Kathmandu Valley into Chiguan. It was really nice and everything was great and they took great care of me. And um, when I arrived at my family's house, Namrata stayed for a while and we all had tea together so that we could acquaint ourselves. And um, I felt very comfortable after she had left because of course the family was awesome. And uh, that evening, Asim, director of Info Nepal, he called and made sure everything had gone well and he also called the following evening and so I thought it was very good communication. Whenever I had a problem, um, I could call him, he was always available. During this period, Info keep in regular contact with phone calls and visits to maintain a good relationship with the volunteers. Nearly all placements are within an hour's travel of another volunteer. We have found this a great way for volunteers to compare their experiences. Welcome to the Punta Pariwar. First we have the lovely and talented Muna Punta. Uh -huh. She is the Amma of the house. Uh -huh. And then we have Absam, who uh -huh. uh -huh. is ever the clever and cunning son. And Abhisak, who is older, is not at home. And neither the lovely Sangeeta. Mm -hmm. And we were just in Naringat a little while ago at my first Nepali wedding. Oh, that was that's quite nice. an experience. Mm -hmm. It was cool, it was really cool. Um, but if I talk about it, then all your tape will be gone. One of the more popular destinations is the Langtang region on the border of Tibet. It is renowned for its stunning views and the ever-welcoming Tamang people of Buddhist origin. A 10-hour bus journey from Kathmandu will take you to the heart of the mountains. This is a great area for those who are interested in trekking. This is one of the villages on the Tamang Heritage Trail. This is a fairly new trek aimed to promote and encourage tourism to the Tamang villages.
We have four newly set up libraries here in the Langtan region. Goljung, Gatlang, Tulabarko and Shepermensi. All of which are within two hours walking distance of each other. At the weekend, volunteers can visit each other to share their experiences. I'm so happy that I see you. Jana, and she was in Goljung. Uh, Mike, she, he was also in Goljung. And Jana, she, she was also in Goljung. So they came here to visit the Tulobarko Library and just to say goodbye to Mike. <laughs> Sebrabensi has international phone facilities along with a few hotels with hot showers. Currently, around 30 to 40 children each day attend the library, all with varied levels of academic abilities. I just got back for about six weeks in Goljong, which is right next to Tibet, as uh, Tamang community, which means originally from Mongolia, and they speak uh, Tamang, a different language, so uh, there is a strong language barrier. But tons of, they're all Buddhist, so tons of cultural differences that you wouldn't get to see in any other places. Uh, and it was great to see the festivals, and they opened a new temple. And I got to go see them dance and chant and sing and always drink. Very good. Nicest people, very nice. We have about six host families in this area who are always very keen to accommodate new volunteers and learn from the different cultures. With um, a man named Kedar and his wife Sumitra mm -hmm. and they were two of the most amazing people I've ever met and they were so open I learned so much about them it was just amazing and their children were wonderful and their house was was beautiful and the food was very good, and I was helping cook every night, which was so oh. much fun. Um, and in the mornings, I would go and milk the cow, which was really interesting at first. <laughs> Took me like what two hours, maybe. We're living with a host family, and they're a working couple with a, uh, two young children. They look after us brilliantly, give us lots of food, far too much food in fact. Um, and it's a, it's a really good way to uh, join in the life of the Nepali people. The children came down and they were like, oh, miss the library, the paints, they couldn't get over it. So it was so good and they just all come around and watch and they want to be part of it and the children are just so cute. This school in Goldring alone has 400 students many of which travel by foot for over two hours each day just so that they can learn. A typical classroom situation where volunteers can teach reading, writing, drawing and have a general interaction with the students. Another extremely popular destination in Nepal is Chitwan. We have five libraries situated here. This is in the Terai region, around 150 kilometers from Kathmandu. It is a complete contrast from Langtang, completely flat, without a mountain in sight. 
Again, during your free days, Chitwan National Park is a great place to spend your time doing jungle safaris and wildlife spotting. Pokhara is the second most visited city within Nepal. Five of our placements are in this area. The amazing views of Annapurna, Fishtail and Fewer Lake are enough to bring you here. Within our orphanages, one of the main things is to have plenty of interaction with the children, teaching English, creative activities and taking them out for day trips. placement um, we heard that there was uh, a strike of an indeterminate length um, being initiated and really weren't, weren't affected by that at all um, with the exception of transportation um, to and from other villages um, being stopped um, so when I um, a few weeks later came to Kathmandu I was extremely surprised <laughs> when I arrived to watch on television what was occurring. Um, it surprised me that um, the demonstrations were as serious as they were because in my village I, I really had no knowledge of the situation. Um, I can't say that at any time I really feared for my safety. Um, everyone in country was extremely accommodating. Um, I, I think. I can speak for my friends, the other volunteers, and myself in saying that it was more a sense of frustration um, in not being able to get from one place to another than a fear for our safety. There have been various programs set up through Info Nepal. These include various teaching posts, health and sanitation, environmental awareness, cultural exchange, and construction aid. InfoNepal has already made some great achievements in just five years. 